Yo, what's up ladies and gentlemen of the jury, it's Zero here, bringing you a new series called Fan Made Fan Play. And, we're gonna kick it off with a Metroid 2 remake. So now, uh, this game it was in development for a really long time, you know, got a lot of hype about it, you know, finally got released and then promptly was taken down by Nintendo. But luckily I managed to, uh, snatch a copy before, you know, all that happened. And I'm here to share it with you today. So uh, let's get started. So now, I'm not quite sure as to um, how this series is going to be. I intend for it to be sort of like a uh, first impressions kind of thing. Or like a brief, brief view of what it has to offer. And then, you know, you know I'll figure it out as I go along, right? And, you know, bear with me. It's been a while since I've recorded anything, really, so uh, I'm a bit rusty. Nonetheless, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad to be able to share this with you guys because I think, uh, you know, out of all the Nintendo franchises, I think Metroid is one of the coolest, if not the coolest. I mean, you get to play as a like super cool space bounty hunter, and then plot twist. It's actually a girl you're playing as the whole time, so that's pretty cool. And you know, I, I like to think of myself as a pretty decent, you know, Metroid player. You know, if that's anything to offer. So, um, I guess right off the bat, you'll notice that um, you can quickly climb up to short ledges by tapping the jump button as you run into them, which is really good. It helps keep up the flow of the game. Um, as far as uh, the assets go and you know the style of the game, it looks you know it's reminiscent of uh, Zero Mission. I think they used a lot of the assets from that game, which is uh, probably a, a large reason as to why it was taken down by Nintendo, aside from you know using the name Metroid and all that copyright. Um, so now, if those of you unfamiliar with the actual Metroid 2 game. Uh, your goal is to basically eradicate every single Metroid on the planet SR388. I think that's the name of the planet. Or is it? It's not Zevus, is it? No, it could be Zevus because you blew up Zevus. You know, some. I, I, you know, we're we're on a planet. There are Metroids. We kill the Metroids. Wrong way. Hold on. Um, well, I guess I just throw it off anyways. Not gonna save. Uh. Oh, and that being said, though, a lot of the, um, you know, a lot of the enemies in this game also have new sprites as well, um, because obviously most of them weren't from Zero Mission or Super Metroid, and they actually look really good and they fit in very well. So now, obviously, as we can see, there's a lot of lava or magma, right, and we can't progress. So now the whole mechanic behind this game is as you progressively kill more and more Metroids, when you clear out an area, the level of lava will drain down and proceed further. So now, obviously we have one Metroid in this area, as you can see in the upper right hand corner. So let's go take it out. So, as far as my whole history with Metroid, I initially uh, started with... I didn't actually play the original until like a lot later, but I started with uh, Metroid Fusion actually, and it was a gift for my birthday. You know, I, at first I was like, ah, oh, you know, I wanted Pokemon. Because uh, I, I actually did not own a Pokemon game until, like, Diamond and Pearl. And I really wanted to play Pokemon. But I didn't get Pokemon, so I was, I was kind of mad. But as I played the game, I realized, man, this is pretty good. Pretty good stuff. And I, I'd like to say, if it weren't for uh, that day, I probably would have never gotten into Metroid. So, that's pretty cool, right? Oh man, sorry for the awkward dialogue. Ah, so now, what was really cool about this game and that they introduced and was later expanded on um, in later games is the fact that Metroids actually have a uh, 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 and I'm taking I'm taking damage here, but I'm sorry, a a life cycle so to speak. They I, I want to say evolve like Pokemon, but they e meta metamorphosize. Um. And this form is the alpha form. I think there's a Zeta, Zeta, Beta. 
Here, hold on, let's take this out before it kills me. Um, there's the, uh, Zeta form, and then there's the Omega form. I don't remember if it's anything else other than that. But, um, and as we can see, the lava is draining down further to the system. But, uh, what, what was that? I forgot what was that. Lava. Before the lava. Um, oh, that's right. So they have... They change, basically. And this is something that's, like, you know, explored later on in further games. At least in, like, the... I want to say... I think Fusion is a sequel. Is it? No, no, no. No, wait. No, no, Fusion is not a sequel. But it is... It is... Touched upon later in the series, basically. And, to be honest... In the original Metroid 2 for the Game Boy, I actually hated that game. Uh, I, I didn't, I, like I said, I started with Fusion, and then I went with Zero Mission after that. And going, you know, backwards in the series is actually not very good, considering um, the pacing of Metroid 2, at least originally, was, you know, a lot slower and the mechanics weren't as refined as, say, in this game, which I have to say is really good. Um, as far as floatiness goes, it's it's not quite as drop-heavy as in, like, Zero Mission, but it's not quite as floaty as Super Metroid, which I, I know I'm gonna get a lot of flack for. I don't, I don't actually really, I don't like Zero, I don't like Super Mission, I don't like Super Metroid that much. Um, I think it's a good game and all, but it's too floaty for my taste. Uh, I prefer how Zero Mission and uh, Fusion handled the whole jumping mechanic a lot more. And, ah uh, yes, the whole one one walled wall jump is uh, in this game as well. So uh, I'll see if I can try to sequence break a few spots in this game. Uh, no promises because I'm playing on a keyboard and it's not really the best way to play a platformer. Of course, it's more like an excuse, so when I mess up, uh, I can just blame it on that. Also, we have uh, Pancakes of Doom. They are a returning enemy. Or actually, no, I think they were introduced in this game. And then they returned in Fusion, I want to say. Or were they, I don't know, or were they in Zero Mission? Either way, Pancakes of Doom, guys, and Robot Bugs. At least I think the robots. Now I think um, if I remember correctly, I think this game also has. A, that's not the button I wanted. Well, I I remember this game having a very expansive like lore in the sense that um the creator of this fan made game actually included a lot of like you know details about the uh, wife. Ooh. Uh, I need bombs. About the life forms on this planet. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit a bunch of keys randomly to see if I could bring that up. That's not it. J, J menu, okay. Oh, well, here's a map. There we go. So there's a log life cycle. That's what you call it, a life cycle. Yeah, and we encountered the, uh, Alpha Metroid. Obviously, this is, Created the Metroid were actually created by the Chozo, you know, the bird space people that Samus has the DNA of, which is why she's actually so cool and all. Uh, let's zoom the game. Let's see here. So, I'm not actually very familiar with Metroid 2. Um, like I said, I didn't really enjoy it, so I didn't bother playing it all that much. So, for the most part, I have no idea where I'm going, what I'm doing. But, uh, you know, bear with me, I think I'll play until, like, I encounter... Probably, I mean, I'll, I'll stop and think it's good, basically. Respawning enemies, good place to farm for stuff. Let's see here. Who needs, who needs to use doors when you can just wall jump across? Can I go through here? No, I cannot. Who needs to use bombs when you can just wall jump across? 
So let's see here. I wonder how far I can actually progress. Like, I, I, you know, Metroid's supposed to be able to explore around. You don't necessarily need a lot of the stuff, per se. Hold on. Hold on, I can... I can do it. Alright, screw it. I'll move on. So I, I wonder how much of freedom I basically have to explore and not have to worry about picking up uh, was power-ups. Because one of the things I really like to do with Metroid is um, actually avoid getting as many power-ups as I can. Oh. Okay, well. Oh, also, this was introduced in the game as well. The spider ball, which if you hold, you know, it allows you to crawl up walls all spider-like. Um, I think this was reintroduced later on in, um, I want to say, oh, the Prime series was when they reintroduced the spider ball, I think. Also, clear demonstration of how useless it actually is when you can... Actually, no, it's actually pretty useful for, uh, I guess, walls like these where you can't necessarily properly wall jump across. So I guess it's useful to a degree. Let's see here. <clears throat> oh, oh, I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready for that. There we go. Another Metroid down. Let's see here. So that's cleared out now. We have three more in the area, it looks like. So I think I'll head back in here. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see what they have over here. I can't go through that way. I need bombs, okay. Um There's a secret in here too. Oh well. Let's see. Aha! I think these are missile upgrades. Yes, indeed they are. Oh, I, one thing I do remember about this game. They're very generous with the amount of missiles you get. Like, missiles are everywhere. Aha! See, in this area alone, there were three missile tanks. And I think, yep. There's another one right there, which I cannot get because I do not have bombs. I should look for the bombs, also. That's where the spider ball was. Oops. And I guess it's good to be generous with the uh, missiles in this game, especially since that's really the only method of killing Metroids. Oh, does this do something? Huh, guess not. Let's see, what do we have here? Charge beam! Sweet! Oh, so this is new then. Um, so I guess they added new stuff as well. I don't remember the charge beam... Charge beam being in the original Metroid 2. Um... Mm, yeah, I don't think it is, actually. The charge beam wasn't introduced until... I want to say... Super Metroid, actually. So that's, uh... That's cool. They're adding new stuff. Keeping it up to date with the uh, whole Metroid st style. But that makes you wonder, what did they replace that with? Or like, was that something they added? Or was this always there in the original Metroid 2? Just put more stuff in it? Oh yeah, I can aim diagonally. That's, that's useful. Let's see here. Oh, already was here. Actually, hold on. Darn it. But that was suspicious looking. It was oddly colored compared to the rest. Ah oh man, I hate keyboard controls so much. But. Hmm. More missiles. 
I'll gladly take that. And I cannot seem to get through there. Which is a shame, because I wanted that energy upgrade. Is there any way? To on. There has to be a way to get up there. That's new. Oh, okay. So it looks like they added puzzle mechanics too. Which is neat. Hold on. More missiles. Alright, we now have a whopping 55 missiles. And we are about to get a health upgrade. And still no sign of bombs, which I think at this point I passed. Let's see here. Hmm. That moved. So I'm assuming, or at least I'm thinking, the one down here also moved as well. Unless there's like a puzzle. No, it did not move. Okay, well. Time to go back to looking. Well, at least it's good that uh, you can recover if you miss the wall. Let's see here. I, I'm assuming the bombs will have to be down... No, not down here. Well, the bombs are somewhere nearby. They have to be. So I'm assuming they're going to be in here. Don't need a save point. If I were bombs, where would I be? Not here. But I do know where to get that uh, upgrade now. Or at least the path to get that upgrade. Oh. Health follows you? Which is new. Also useful, but. And we get the bombs. And more missiles. Now we have 60 missiles. Also, hold on. I can confirm it is possible to ball the to, to ball jump to bomb jump in this game, which is another useful you know another useful tool to use when you're sequence breaking or you know messing around in the game basically. I think that's the best way to play Metroid, honestly. Play it out of order, however you want to play it. Alright, so let's get that uh, elusive upgrade that was over this way. Aha! Ah, oh, sweet. Another energy tank. Alright, so let's see here. Hmm. I remember. Was it here? Yeah, I think it was here. Alright. Now we have 65 missiles. I think I'm gonna head back to the save room and uh, you know, make sure I keep this progress. Now let's see here. What, what, where's the button for the map? Let's see here. There is a save room directly to my right. Sweet. Okay. Uh, navigating menus. Not very good at that. Alright, so, uh, you know, I think I'm gonna call it there. I don't wanna play too much of this because it's not meant to be a full playthrough. Um, you know, if you like what you saw, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and all that. Also, as an added bonus, uh, I'm gonna leave a link 
to a download for the game itself so you can check it out as well because you know share the love right and I'm gonna uh, hopefully it'll be there for a while hopefully we don't get flagged for copyright hopefully a lot of hopefully's and uh, me and Ace have been talking a lot about this we really want to do some streaming so uh, you know I might stream this game at some point or another and then I'll actually go through the entirety of it. Uh, at least that's the plan. So, uh, once again, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day. This is Zero, and I'm signing out.